I haven't done a how-to over here on the channel in a while. I've done them on the site recently, but not really on the channel. So let's do one today, shall we? So this one is on something I've heard a lot of people mention that they need help with on their iPhones, and that's how to get rid of the mysterious other storage that can be taking up a ton of space and seems to not go away no matter what you do. Thanks to everyone who commented asking me to do a video for this over on my other video on how to free up your iPhone storage, which if you need more help with that, I'd suggest checking that out as even though it's an older video, it still works today. In this video though, we'll focus on that annoying other storage in particular. Now first, to see if your issue is the other storage, head to Settings, General, iPhone Storage. Here you'll see a little bar graph that'll show you using colors what amount of storage is taken up by what category of item. Other is usually the one to the far right, and depending on a lot of factors, it might have gotten out of control and is much larger than it needs to be. So really quick, what is Other? Well, basically it's kind of a catch-all for a lot of different files that your iPhone happens to save. Things like your Siri voice files, some settings files, and iOS updates sometimes get stuck in there, it can take up a ton. But a big portion of it usually are cache files. These are files that apps and the phone store temporarily on the phone storage in order to use something, and in theory at least, should be deleted automatically by the system as soon as they are deemed not needed or the device is low on storage. So an example of this is if you're streaming a four gig movie, it might take up four gigs of other storage while watching it, but once you finish it and close the app, those four gigs should be deleted since it's no longer needed. At least that's how it should work in theory. Now the problem here lies in that things can get stuck in there sometimes as iOS just never decides to remove them. And also those update files I mentioned seem to get stuck in here pretty often. Now, unfortunately, there is no good way in iOS to clear out all of the caches. We can try and clear out a few of them though, at least, and see if that helps get rid of enough of that other storage for you. And if not, then I have a final option that'll get rid of all of it at once for the most part, if we need to. So firstly, let's clear Safari's cache. To do that, head to settings, Safari, and tap on clear history and website data, and then confirm. Then after this and every one of these steps really, you can go back to settings, general, iPhone storage, wait a sec for it to refresh and see if that cleared enough of other. If not, we can go to the next step. Now, other apps that you have on the phone also have their own caches. Unfortunately, as I mentioned earlier, there isn't really an easy way to remove these, but we can kind of remove them in albeit a slightly drastic way, but honestly, it's probably something you should be doing anyway. So first we're gonna head to settings, general, iPhone storage. Now here you'll see a list of your apps from the ones taking up the most storage to the least. You can choose one of two options. You can either tap the recommendation at the top to automatically offload apps, also manually found in settings, iTunes, automatically offload apps. And this will essentially uninstall any apps you haven't used in a long time and free up their cache as well as storage. And opposed to specifically uninstalling them, as soon as you tap them, it will simply re-download the app, leaving the icon where it was. And you'll just have to wait for that to reinstall and then the data, etc., will all be back where you left it. But in all likelihood, it'll clear that app's cache. The other option is you can manually look for apps that are taking up the most space and then decide which ones you don't need and tap on them and then tap offload app for each of them to force it to clear it from the phone in the same way. And then again, after you finish that for as many apps as you want, we can check settings, general, iPhone storage, and see if that helped a little. Now, hopefully you're lucky and that cleared up enough of that other storage and you can stop right here, but there's a good chance that it probably didn't. And so there is one final way to make sure that we clear as much of the cache and as much of other as possible. And that's by doing a backup and a restore. Now I know that sounds scary, but so long as you do the backup, it's actually pretty painless. And all of the things that you have on there will come right back when we're done. So to properly do that backup on the phone, we're gonna connect to Wi-Fi first, then go to settings, tap on your name at the top, and then tap on iCloud. In here, turn everything on that you want to save. Anything you do not turn on will be deleted. So triple check that everything is on. Now you'll actually notice that I leave photos off on mine, but that's because mine are backed up to Google Photos instead since it's free, unlike iCloud storage. And also I'm pretty integrated with Google services, if we're honest. Now you can check out the aforementioned video on freeing up space 
at the link here. But if you haven't done that, then make sure that photos are turned on here so that you don't lose your photos and videos and they will instead be backed up to iCloud. Now, once everything you want to save is on, scroll down and tap on iCloud Backup. Turn on iCloud Backup and then tap Backup Now. And you're gonna wait for it. It could take a while depending on how much you have on here. But then eventually it will say the last successful backup with the time next to it that it was done. And when you have that, you're all set. Now, depending on your iCloud storage plan, it might tell you that you need to upgrade your iCloud storage to accommodate the backup. This is the reason I back up my photos elsewhere as they are the biggest culprit of the storage. So to try and make a little extra space, if you don't wanna go the route that I did with Google Photos, go to settings, tap on your name, iCloud, manage storage, tap on backups, and then tap on any of the backups that are for devices you no longer own or need and tap delete backup. Repeat this until you only have the devices in there that you need. Hopefully that'll help, but if not, you could just pay the extra money for the more iCloud storage. It's honestly not too expensive at least as you get 50 gigs for 99 cents a month. Now, if you're also still nervous about what we're about to do, you can also just take all of those photos and videos and either save them to your computer by connecting to iTunes or upload them to Dropbox or Google Drive or any of those other services you have as well. This way it's backed up twice, essentially. And then that way you can be sure that you won't lose anything if you're nervous. Next, once that is confirmed to be backed up and that everything you chose to back up was selected, let's restore the phone. So go to settings, reset, erase all content and settings. And then it will ask you to confirm multiple times. Be sure to read each of these and understand what it's saying, but then go ahead and confirm all of that. And then you can go through your normal setup process. And there's gonna be a point where it's gonna ask you to take your other phone and bring it close to this phone in order to just hit setup manually. And then it'll eventually prompt you to restore from a backup. We're gonna do that and use our iCloud backup that we just made. So tap on iCloud backup and then tap on the one that is the most recent for this device. Then continue to follow the prompts to have that restore. It will take a bit. And eventually after it reboots itself a few more times, you'll be back on your normal home screen and back to the way that you were. You will notice that a lot of your apps are grayed out and what's happening is those are actually re-downloading in the background. Um, it allows you to use the phone for now, but those will eventually all download and be back to the way they were before we started. And then finally, we can go to settings, general, iPhone storage, and see if that finally helped the other storage. And there you go. I hope that helps some of you out there. Um, I will leave a link below to my actual website where I'll have the written tutorial for anybody that wants to see that. Also, if there are any tips that anyone else has to help with this, please leave those in the comments and I'll add those to that website, um, that page, just so that this can be updated a little bit easier if anybody needs it. If you like this video though, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. Also check out the rest of the channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe and ding the bell next door subscribe so you get notified when I do new videos. As always though, regardless, thanks for watching.